The recent discoveries of over 1,300 remains or unmarked graves since May at former residential schools in Canada have reminded the international community of the longtime mistreatment of the indigenous people, shedding shame on the North American country. An estimated 150,000 indigenous children across Canada were reportedly removed from their homes and forced to attend residential schools between the 1890s and as recently as 1996, during which more than 50,000 died of abuses. Lots of physical abuse, whether it's uh, straps on the hand or on the bare bottom in front of everybody, in front of all the other kids, so you can see that very shameful, hurtful uh, physical abuse, sexual abuse was, is pretty common, uh, mental abuse. For years, the Indigenous people in Canada have long been socially marginalized and poorly educated and paid with their basic human rights unprotected and their life expectancy cut by nearly 10 years compared with other groups. It makes us hurt, it makes us think we, don't, we can't trust our relatives now, our Canadian relatives. That should never be done to another people where you don't trust your neighbours anymore because of the hurt. In 2008, the Canadian government formally admitted its role in forcing those native children into government-financed residential schools where many suffered physical and sexual abuse. Time will show us the real depth and tragedy of this genocide in Canada. Over time we'll see that.